obviously really excited uh, to be here uh, at the Verbo uh, Citrus Bowl. Uh, you know, I think our guys are really, really ready to play in this game. You know, they've, they've been excited. The, the, the energy and practice uh, both at home and here uh, on site in Orlando uh, has been at an all time high. Uh, you know, it's, we know it's going to be a great challenge, a really physical uh, Iowa offense. Uh, they, they've got a couple of different ways that they can beat you, um, but it all starts up front. And, and so we know we have to play physical. Uh, we know we have to try to create some turnovers. Uh, obviously, they've got an incredible defense. Uh, they've, they've been able to create a lot of turnovers that, you know, last year we were able to uh, create, you know, and, and we were sort of in the, in the upper echelon of creating turnovers last year. This year, not so much. Um, but we've got to be able to make those opportunities count in this game. And uh, it's going to be a heck of a battle uh, and, and one we're ready for. Uh, really excited to, to watch uh, Yusuf do some, uh, do some damage on the field uh, and try to put him into some positions to, to make some plays. Hey, Coach. Uh, Iowa's offensive numbers aren't great, but what, in your mind, what do they do well that you need to co to look at controlling? Yeah, you know what? I, I think stats at times can be deceiving, and when you look at how they're able to control the game, um, and it, it fits into what they do, it is their identity, and it's. It all started, we talked about it in the opening statement, it starts up front for them. Their offensive line, especially interiorly, uh, does a great job uh, of creating initial push, creating some scenes in those run game, uh, in their zone scheme. Oops, excuse me. Um, and so, uh, you know, and then it sets up their play action game and it sets up their boot game. And their, their boot game, the mirroring of both run and play action and boot uh, looks almost identical. And so to to fit that two back run scheme, you know, I got Yusuf here from a safety standpoint, you know, you've got to be really, really disciplined with your eyes. And when it looks the same, it, it gets to be hard. And they do a great job because of, of repetition. Uh, they do a great job of mirroring looks. They do a great job of self-scouting themselves. Uh, so their tendencies are minimal uh, in that regard. Uh, so it, it's hard to, to pinpoint and attack certain things. Um, you know, obviously uh, not having, uh, you know, Goodson, you know, is a, is a difference uh, for them. But they, they have running backs that have, you know, plenty of experience uh, and have done some really good things. So I, I don't think anything really changes identity wise for them in terms of how they're going to run the ball, how they're going to push it down the field. Um, so I think that's really where they create uh, some challenges for you. And, it, and it's, a, it's a scheme that in a world of spread offense, and that's how you sort of build your defense. Now it's it's a little bit more old school. And you got to get physical and you got to get nasty. Uh, our defensive front's going to have to play, you know, really well. Our linebackers are going to have to take on fullbacks and, and lead blockers. Uh, and it, it presents a completely different challenge uh, than something we've really faced all season. Yusuf, you guys, during that three-game losing streak, we're, we're kind of reeling a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. particularly in the secondary. How did you all respond to that adversity to to be able to recover and, and finish the season strong? Well, we just went back and watched the film, see the things that the, that we needed to work on, and just be real with ourselves. You know, we didn't create any turnovers. I want to say in those three games, we didn't play well. We had bad eyes and things like that. But after those games, we put it behind us, and we just look forward to the next opportunity. And I feel like we played better on the, our last, on say, three games of, of the stretch at the end of the season. Coach, your last answer got, got me curious. When's the last time you faced a team that was <laughs> like Iowa, that's that old school mentality? Uh, probably inside the five yard line. You know, that's, I mean, it's, and it's true. I mean, these, this day and age, you, I, I joked in a, 
uh, previous deal back home is that, you know, for some of our younger players that, that haven't been around and have only seen spread offenses, especially in high school, um, they don't even know what a fullback is. And so you so, – uh, but that – it creates two back run fits that, that create problems. Um, and it stresses your rules. What, what you have to do is you have to treat that, that fullback, and, and our guys have to do a great job of understanding, hey, it's creating two by two formations or three by one formations, depending on which way he goes. But you have to, you have to identify flow early, and then you understand your run fit, where your support is. in that, that's where some of those creases have really come for them is that there have been some unblocked players that could make the that could make a play but if you push the ball the wrong way if if your help is outside but you send the ball inside even though that there's an unblocked defender the running backs walking in the end zone um, so you have to be perfect and you know, so we obviously we've been working a lot on that. Um, but until you get the game speed of it, the true physicality of it, uh, it's, you know, we'll, we'll have to make corrections on the sideline just like every game. Um, but I, I think, again, I think our guys are ready. Uh, they understand that it's a – you challenge – their pride, especially when it's a physical game. It's when it's when it's one of those games where you you know you call it a circus and there's motions and flies and ball going this way and that way, you know, and it's just sort of hey play soft and let it play out in front of you and then you go play ball. This one is sort of challenging your pride. They're not they're not hiding anything. They're coming down hill. They're going to put their pads on you and they're going to try to drive you off the football. And if they're gaining yards, it means that they're physically more dominant than you. And so it's a, it's a sense of pride for our front. It's going to be a sense of pride for our back end when they have to come and fill and they have to tackle these big backs coming down downhill. Um, and we have to try to impose our will uh, and our physicality. And, you know, it's something that we've been able to do, uh, you know, over the years, we've been able to do it this year uh, at times, and we need to show up and do it again. All the way back to the camera platform. On yeah, Yusuf back here. Um, for you guys as a defense, do you sort of get a sense of like smelling blood in the water for an Iowa offense that has struggled this year and they're without their starting running back? Their quarterback situation is kind of on the fence a little bit. And two, with playing a physical team, how much do you look forward to that as a physical defensive back? Well, in the game, our, our next game is going to, um, I look forward to it. But as far as Iowa, when I go back and I watch the film, I feel like they're a really good disciplined offense. I feel like the last game they played versus Michigan, they really kind of shot themselves in the foot. I mean, there was opportunities that, you know, they could have put up a lot more points. But, you know, they like I said, they shot themselves in the foot. And uh, as far as being, this is going to be a physical game for for us, and you know, coach said it, it's going to be a lot of pride. And for me, I feel like just getting off of blocks, making tackles for the whole defense is going to be real big for us. Yusuf, you were here a few years ago as a as a redshirt freshman. Now you're back, could be playing in your last game. Just what would it mean to start your career with a big win in the Citrus Bowl, and then kind of to to wrap it up with a ten win season at the Citrus Bowl? Oh, it would mean a lot, especially with this team and. Just this might be in my last game. It's just gonna be very emotional, you know. You're never gonna uh, get this team back again. You know, everybody's gonna go different places, different places in different ways. So it's gonna be very emotional for me. Hey, coach. Uh, Iowa has not announced a starting quarterback. Do you? How do you prepare for that? Do you think there's a difference between Petrus and Padilla? A, a big difference? I mean, how would you assess that situation? You know what, I, I think from a scheme standpoint, uh, I don't think it changes. I don't think it's as drastic, drastic a change as if it's a pure pocket passer versus, all right, this guy's a, a runner that they, they try to throw. I mean, I think their skill set is uh, within the same ballpark. Um, you know, I think, you know, Padilla probably runs a little bit better. Uh, but I, I think... You know, decision making. I think Petrus is. You know, he he understands where to go with the football. Uh, 
been been really successful in the offense. So from that standpoint, it's it's not a a big difference for us uh, in that regard in terms of how we scheme. It's not going to be a different game plan. Um, but you do have to be mindful of of who's in and what that particular quarterback strengths are.